All right, so I bet that I have another one, and looks like I he's got a next video calling him my thoughts on tattoos. But I basically wanted to do something a little bit different here, since I wanted to do something here with a little special guest in between. So I decided to bring is Tyler Beast. Yeah, that's right. Hey, I was noticing about what the tattoos are usually be, but sometimes it doesn't really help when you when you can't get rid of the uh, tattoos in between. I never basically have tattoos in between. When since I was a little kid, I was feeling like I wanted to have tattoos. But the difference is, the promising of that happens is that I really wanted to change everything what I've got. So I decided to leave it alone and I feel like I wanted to just change it off. So that way I feel like tattoos are definitely like a painful to me and then it will stain on your skin. And definitely, of course, when you get when you go to the doctor, they would realize there there is a problem with one of each that is still hurting you most. And because of that one here, and it might be a tattoo remover. And you know, basically, of what happened is you seen that the Simpsons from the Christmas of this episode. You know that Bart Simpson. He realizes that happens with putting a tattoo on it, and he was basically noticing of how that happens when putting it on the arm. And then basically touching it, I felt like, what is that? Well, now this is basically that I don't want to do. So, what do you think, Mr. Beast? Should we watch it together? I say so. I mean, we can definitely watch that one here together. Okay. All right. So, let's see what it is right now. Take it away, James. Here's a little social interaction life hack I've discovered. If you're meeting someone new and you want to get to know them better, and you see any semblance of a tattoo peeking out of their sleeve... Compliment it. If that person doesn't want to talk about their tattoos, they'll say, Oh, thank you. Anyway, this is my stop. <laughs> well, it's basically that happens with that one. They basically don't want to talk to each other. And I felt like, oh, yeah, this is their stop anyway. Well, I don't know what they say about it, but I felt like they're a little jealous. Probably it's because of what they have done something that's particularly not the favorite of it. But I feel like... It's not going to happen like that at all. Well, I say so anyway, Tyler. But, you know, it, it doesn't really mention when you're thinking of what the tattoo looks like. And no matter how big or small that is, I mean, you have a little bit of one of the decals that might be able to, like, just cover up from your skin, from your shirt. And basically, they could see it. They felt like... They felt like... What's up with the tattoo or anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I say is that, yo, what kind of tattoo is that? That's pretty cool. Well, basically, they don't want to talk anything. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know what you're saying, but let's hope there is another rule to this option. And I, let me gear it up a little bit so uh, so I can hear much better. Yeah, sorry. I should have, like, stick it all the way up to the volume, but it's... Kind of too hard for me to hear. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's okay. Just keep it going. But if they do want to talk about their tattoos, their face will light up, and then they'll do the rest of the talking. Of course they will. I mean, they'd love to do some a lot of talkings. I realize that by giving you this advice, now anytime I compliment someone else's tattoos, it will seem disingenuous. But it's not, most of the time. I love all of your tattoos. That's right, I'm talking to you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, uh, you're talking to me, or are you talking to Tyler Beast? <laughs> we, thanks, but I feel like I don't have a tattoo anyway, but forget about that. Let's keep going. I love your tattoos, dude. Whether it's how you got the tattoo, the meaning behind the tattoo, or being a tattoo of something you like, every tattoo is a story, and most people love telling stories about themselves. Of course they do. They love to tell stories about the tattoos, and I basically can't tell this what it's about. But when you're thinking of, if you want some tattoos, I mean, you gotta, like, be very careful at it when you when you display something that's above it. And you definitely want to get rid of it if, if something bad happens. Not a casual event. I wouldn't know anything about that, personally. I never understood why some people liked talking about their tattoos, until I got one of my own. What, you think I'm going to make a whole video about tattoos when I didn't even have any? Oh, oh yeah, you will. I mean, you would have any of it, but it seemed like that you wanted to get rid of it, but it's not a possible chance. I don't think so. I couldn't tell about this one here, James, but you know, 
if, if something happens like that, I mean, you, you basically don't want this to be gone forever. That's right. I'm a marked man, Mom. What are you going to do about it? Oh, what are you going to do about it? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what she's going to do. So basically, she won't be able to talk about like any of it. She's feeling like, James, what on earth is all with the tattoos on your body? And she basically noticed that, yeah, moms are kind of like nerves already. And they, they felt like they want their kids and adults felt like, I want some tattoos. And you said, nope, you can't, boy or girl. I mean, nobody likes that. And, and let me tell you this. I mean, basically, when my parents definitely let me use the tattoos, they felt like, Tyler, it's not a choice to put any tattoos on it. And basically, you know that happens. I mean, I felt like this would be a bad choice for me. So I felt like I want to stay out. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree, Tyler. Because when my mom just basically wants to tell me if I could put the tattoos on it, I mean, I basically talked to one of the guys and it felt like there's no place to put tattoos on it. So the only place is to put it in the privacy area, basically right in between from, from the hips or from the front or back. And basically, of course, you know, that on the chest is kind of like a little bit almost too chaotic to see that. So I felt like there was no other choice to put it. Yeah, it's kind of very, like, uh, it's, it's impossible to place it where you put it. I mean, now you can't. Now you can't put it anywhere. Stop unconditionally loving me? <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, what are you doing with that cheese grater? Okay, but in all seriousness, can you make sure Grandma doesn't see this video, Mom? I, I don't want to upset her on the way out. Oh, she did. <laughs> she did. And yep, there's the casual people. They're feeling like, oh my god, what's wrong with this guy? I mean, all that tattoos has been showing. Yeah, it's kind of a bad idea. And then, yeah, this is what happens. This is the pros and this is the cons. Pros are, tattoos are very cool. They are definitely like everybody's favorite. But the cons are, they can't accept it for showing it up at work. Like, you know, like it's abysmal casual offices, for example. And definitely what you're saying is that in the grocery stores, when you're working at a job, or it basically, of course, right now, like with your daycare schools, they felt like, what's on the tattoo of this, of this uh, person? Well, they will kick you out. I, and I promise that they will kick you out. So with that, don't wear anything that's on your skin with that tattoo thing on. If they showed it, they're going to have to talk it all over again. Yeah, that's right. I mean, and it's for you guys. You got to watch out with that. Let's see what James says. Back in the day, tattoos used to be a symbol of rebellion and meant you couldn't get a job. No regerts, baby. Okay, that is true. That is totally true. And this is what happens right now on the casual work event that you apply for your job. But I feel like tattoos are getting more and more accepted, if not expected. I'll see a jacked, bald guy covered in tattoos and think, okay, yeah, he was meant to look like that. For me, the idea of being a badass tattooed guy with a sketch pad and a beanie and ripped jeans and a beaded bracelet always seemed cool to me. I mean, kind of cool, but I don't say about, like, if you're definitely ripped apart, I mean, you're not always, like, perfect. I mean, that's the point. I mean, everybody has that point. I mean, they are not perfect. Especially to real world people who never knows if they wear like tattoos around the skin, try to cover it up, but something happens, they feel like they're looking at it over and over. You got a problem with that. But like most people, when it came to tattoos, I had reservations. Ooh, this is going to be on my body forever? What if I hate it? Oh yeah, <laughs> most people are going to say they hate this, but... Kind of hurts more, and yeah, I, I I do understand it, Tyler. But you know, basically, it, it hurts more when you think of like putting on the tattoos around your skin, part on your body, on your chest, or on the back. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be very painful. So try to hold your breath as you can. Well, some guys don't really want to take care of it. Your son in peace. I I don't think it's not gonna happen like that. Yeah, I might have to stay out of it for sure. Definitely. I had an idea once of getting these five Magic the Gathering symbols tattooed on my forearm. I even dotted them out in Sharpie once just to give them a test drive. But I ultimately decided not to get them because I was worried in five years I would go, Oh, these? 
Uh, I was really into Magic the Gathering in my 20s. Not anymore, though, so now every morning I wake up with impending feelings of shame and remorse that I even decided to get this thing. Oh, there was no other choice I would say that. And I didn't want that to happen, even though I've been playing Magic for over 15 years, and it means a lot to me, and I'm going to be buried with my sliver deck, and... Alright, maybe I should just get it. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're gonna get that anyway? I mean... Oh. I, I feel like nothing's gonna happen. Even though people know that tattoos are permanent, there are still way more bad tattoos than there should be. One time, I saw this picture of someone's tattoo on a bad tattoo subreddit, and I thought it'd be funny to prank my family group chat by photoshopping that tattoo onto my arm. Oh, that is just how <laughs> unbelievable it is. It's kind of like really bad to see that, but but all it says here, you may can't, um, what does that say actually? You may get count on the coffee. To me, it's anti murderly juicy juice. Well, it's not like when you're expecting to develop how this, uh, how this happens, but if the other guys are really starting to look like that, they are wearing like it's the biggest tattoo on, on their arms or legs or anything. I mean, it's a crossable uh, question of what's going to like change their mind. They felt like they wanted to get rid of it, but they couldn't, you know, it already gets stained on it perfectly. And you basically don't want that to happen. But all of that being said is you don't want this to change everything forever. Not at all. And then I thought it'd be funny to post that picture onto Instagram. I didn't think anyone would fall for this poor excuse of a Photoshop job. Oh yeah, I mean, there is a poor excuse over there. I mean, I mean, what's all with the job that happened? I mean, oh my gosh. I just can't believe it what he was doing. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, all over this time, I mean, basically going over with the tattoos. So I think his expression is going to change everything. It's not going to turn out great. <laughs> But then the internet and my family proved me wrong. Yep, and this is what happens with their parents there too. I mean, yep, you're in trouble now, James. Immediately, I started getting phone calls from my parents, and even my book agent rang me up and was like, Did you actually get that tattoo? No, it's not a real tattoo. I mean, it is a real tattoo, but... Yeah, yeah, that is a real tattoo. I mean, he's lying. Why is he definitely lying? I mean, he has no other choice if he's gonna say something like that. But it's on someone else's body. That's their cross to bear. I can only imagine what that person's family and book agent went through. My parents were not supportive of me getting tattoos. But whose are, am I right? Some people, like my parents, say that your body is like a temple. And getting tattoos is like putting graffiti on it. Of course they are. It's almost like a graffiti. I mean, I'm definitely basically sure enough that it's almost as similar as the one with the spray paint to put graffitis on the wall. And well, the thing is at that point, the crime sees it and it's destroying the community. So that's also describing that thing with the temple. Which, sure, okay. That's why I paid a professional graffiti artist to paint my temple exactly how I wanted. Yeah, I just don't like it. When when they destroyed the communities, I felt like there were so many graffitis on the wall. And you know what basically what happens? They destroy their communities. I mean, something happens, it is a crime, and it's illegal to do that. Yeah, I know. If they wanted to do on bub public locations, so they can definitely communicate with that, and then give a little bit supportive, but most people are disregarding that point. I mean, what's the world going to know about if someone is placing a next graffiti on their walls, or basically right in between, like, in between underneath the bridge, the designated areas, I mean... There may have been a problem with that. And basically, I read an article about disobeying these spray paint, which is the graffitis. And with that point, it is very bad for the whole environment to have with their spray paint on top of it. It's like not coming off the wall. I mean, nobody's going to ever like it. I mean, if something has bad, it's going to change. I mean, you know... They're going to have to shut everything down. I mean, no offense on that. I mean, this is definitely like a bad idea. But hey, people really love the graffitis like that. I mean, how creative is that? But especially to you, Son of Beast, you went to the Winwood uh, Street Arts. It's like a paint job, but you have seen everything, right? Oh, yeah, I did. I, I basically remembered it when I went to Miami, Florida, and checked out the spray paint of the street arts. And it basically almost as similar as that. But it's a street paint. So they basically had to put it up on the wall to celebrate one in between. 
And now you get it because that is basically in between the choice. Almost similar like tattoo things. Also, you can't tell me not to deform my body when that's exactly what you did before I was even 24 hours old. Also, Jesus had piercings and he loves showing them off to his buddies. So I think he'd be chill with a little tattoo. I dig a little chill down, must be too hard for him. So that's causing a problem. After much thought and deliberation, I finally settled on what my first tattoo would be. This was going to be permanently inked onto my body for the rest of my life. I got a tattoo tattoo. Oh, so that means what it is now. So tattoo tattoo. So look right on the other side. Oh, so short web letters are there, eh? Well, I disobeyed with that. I mean, I can't even believe it that James had that one in between. In Courier New. Luckily, the artist was able to finish this in one session. It took quite a while, almost five whole minutes. Now, let me explain why I got it. It was so that if anyone ever asked me, do you have any tattoos? I could go, why, yes, I do. And then roll up my sleeve, and then I'd go, ha, ha, ha. When I showed off my tattoo tattoo on Jaden's streamathon, there was one comment that said, James having tattoo actually tattooed onto him is exactly the kind of tattoo I expected James to have. Oh, that's what the comments were saying. I mean, most people will regret this. I understand it now. And that made me feel really good because that meant the tattoo fit my vibe. And the second reason I got the tattoo was because I wanted to rebel. <laughs> Since tattoos were frowned upon growing up, I wanted to have one just to have one. So I got a tattoo with no meaning whatsoever, which in a way is the meaning. Even though the tattoo tattoo was small and usually covered up by my sleeve, I still felt anxious about getting it. And I continued to feel that way for about a week after I got it. It was a jump scare every time I saw it in the mirror and I would look at it closely and go, yep, that's really in there. Yeah, I, I know. It's it's kind of hard to tell why is that. But basically, you just can't explain it for yourself and why it's still on your skin. I sure hope I don't regret this. But then, after some time, the tattoo tattoo just became a part of me. Like, I didn't look in the mirror and go, yep, there's James and tattoo. I would go, yep, there's James well, basically one way or the other way, can't guess. Full stop. And from that day on, I loved giving people advice on tattoos. As a marked man myself, I think you should absolutely get that Shadow the Hedgehog full back piece. Oh, shucks. Not this thing again. YOLO, remember? What? You're worried that it's going to look bad when you're 70? Yeah, it's going to look bad when you're 70. Oh, yes, they do. I mean, they honestly have to say, I mean, it's going to keep on here forever until the age grows up like to be in the, like you're 70 years old or something like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, I, I think most people are not configuring with this. It's not going to happen because one of the older uh, seniors who feel like over or above a 65, they're feeling like that tattoo's still there. And I don't know if I can't get rid of it. I mean, just come on, man. I mean, it's, it's gonna not going to change the effect what it is. It's going to stay the same after you get it on. You're 70. Don't think about how bad it's going to look. Think about how much you're going to enjoy it from now to when you're 69. I've known people my age who still hide their tattoos from their parents, but like the honest prodigal son that I am, I wasn't going to be doing that. But the next time I visited my parents, I walked into their house, and the very first thing my mom said to me was, Do you have any tattoos? She beat me to the punch. Okay, so this is what's going to happen like that. I mean, I know, I know, but you can't just explain things. Like, you know, for some reasons, and I mean, I mean, his eyes goes that way. And then when he basically starts to talk like that, I mean, this is what the problem would look like. I guess he's going to get explained by this. And he felt like, no. But I think when he, if he changes his mind, then she's going to definitely start freaking out. She's not going to like that. And yeah, my parents don't really like that when I have tattoos on my skin. So I wanted to be clean. I wanted to have no tattoos on everything. On my whole body. And that will be a bad idea to not get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I totally agree with you, man. 
You have it all. Son and Beast, you still don't have a tattoo? Then you're still safe. <laughs> Thank you with that. Really appreciate it. Uh, what? Why, why, why would you ask that? Because last night, I had a dream that you came home and were covered in tattoos. So, which one of you incepted my mom? God? I said, are all tattoos bad? I mean, they are going to be bad. I mean, let's wait till she says that. I think so. I'm going to agree with you, Tyler. They're going to be bad. Yes, all of them are bad. Yep, you know that. That's what happens right now. <laughs> you can't get rid of it. Even this one. And I rolled up my sleeve and revealed my massive tat. And her reaction was, Ah! Oh. Well, it's not the worst word to have permanently inked on your body. Later on, she said, if you go to a Star Wars party, you could change it to Tatooine. So, I think she took it pretty goodly. Now, some of you might be thinking that my epic sleeve of a tattoo isn't that big a deal. It's tiny and can only be seen if I'm swimming or boxing or wearing a tank top. But you see, after getting tattoo tattooed, I experienced what people in the tattooing business call catching the bug. After seeing how much I liked my first tattoo and knowing that I could handle having a tattoo, I was ready to get something badass. <laughs> I mean, not, not the way that you might be doing it, but you will see once this changes. I set up a big boy tattoo appointment with an artist I liked, and when I was in the tattoo shop, the artist asked, is this your first tattoo? <laughs> is this my first tattoo? Uh, no, sweetheart. I, I think I know a thing or two about tattoos. I don't think that's not going to be the answer, so he's lying. So he must have happened with that. He's basically noticing when he has a tattoo thing. I know what's going to happen. He still has it. So without further ado, I would like to debut this out of the blue tattoo. You know, from the Dark Crystal, the Jim Henson 80s puppet movie that, that I did a video on it years ago. Now I have the best character permanently inked onto my skin forever and ever. Oh my god. Oh wow, dude. James! That is so... That is so naive. That is so sick, man. Dude, whenever you get this kind of tattoo thing, that's how big it is. I mean, I always come to school at college at, I always noticed the instructor teacher from the phys ed had tattoos on her legs. And I just feel like, like, dude, these are sick. And now I got this guy with James. Oh boy. I, I basically never seen it like that, but you know how it happens? Because all he has now is just one big of an arm to just place it over with. And now you can feel it. Right in between. So that's basically like a little bit of a difference, eh? Why do you think? I guess I've never seen it like this. Pretty cool. That movie will always hold a special place in my heart, and now it'll hold a special place under my skin. Of course you will. And now, whenever I show someone the Chamberlain, we end up talking about the Dark Crystal, which is great, because that's what I wanted to talk about anyways. Oh, I did not notice that you were talking about the Dark Crystal. I did not even explain that. I didn't notice that you guys are talking like that in full conversations about the Dark Crystal. I mean, could this also be like it's almost similar as Warcraft? It's not really basically the same. I think I just discovered an autistic conversational cheat code. When I was getting it done, the artist asked me if there were any other tattoos that I wanted to get. And I said, why, yes, I do. I wanted to get the computer from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, because I also love that series, and because I'm a computery guy. Oh my gosh. I mean, I basically just noticing that the last video I was basically noticing, it's like those puppet guys thing. And not to basically recall this from Chris Sonic Guy, as you may have already noticed that the reaction of don't hug me, I'm scared thing. It was just too much to do it anyway. But but in that case, I just really noticing it's kind of a little scary with that. But it, it's kind of funny puppet thing, uh, you know, for. I mean, it's just like changing it differently. Can't explain that. Well, I guess you can't just really have to explain it all for yourself. I mean, not even anybody who knows it. I mean, don't hug me. 
because I'm basically scared. I don't watch that part. I only I watch was, well, you know, I only watch what that basically like everybody knows about Will Smith, and basically I just don't feel like watching anything. Only I know is you, because you were watching Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Real seriously, yeah. You were watching the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's the point. Didn't expect that. All the big change or anything. Couldn't say it once. And now this is what it looks like, right in between, of what the tattoo changes. But I like that dark, dark crystal one. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Basically sure. And I didn't realize until as I was explaining it to the artist that both of these characters are puppets. So I don't know what that says about my psyche. I never thought that I liked puppets that much, but if anyone wants to psychoanalyze me in the comments, that'd be great. And <laughs> a little secret reveal inside of James's face. Speaking of YouTube comments, I know a lot of people are gonna bring this up, so I'm just gonna address it right now. <sighs> you probably noticed that Chamberlain isn't holding his iconic triangle scepter. Uh, it almost seems like a Grim Reaper, but it's not really is. Yeah, I already know that. That's because he's holding the Emperor's Scepter. It's like my own little head cannon. He got to be the Emperor because he's cool and awesome. And Come on, Dark Crystal fans. You, you think I don't know my lore? I, I mean, I, I don't know basically you know about you. Sorry, but it's not going to change it like that. I didn't get the wrong scepter or anything. You, you think I'd get something wrong about the Dark Crystal? Okay, you wanna know what happened? I own a Chamberlain statue because of course I do. And I took pictures of it to send as a reference image to the artist. And I totally forgot that I accidentally broke off his triangle scepter. And now because of that, he's holding an entirely different scepter on the tattoo. But you know what? I don't care. This one's better. It's a more clear silhouette. Now, this time when I went to show my parents the tattoo, I don't know exactly what I was hoping for, but I wanted to see some dramatic pearl clutching. I mean, what's all with the pearl clutching with that? I mean, why are their parents so depressed about it? They felt like they don't want to talk about it. I mean, they felt like they don't know what who cares about it. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, don't be like aggressive or anything. I mean, just let them talk right now. Let them make decisions and then get right to the point. That's it. You know, just some real disappointment. Chamberlain had to be split up into two sessions and I only got one done when I went to Arizona for a wedding. I saw my mom and she didn't immediately ask me if I had any more tattoos. God didn't tattle on me this time. I told her, mom, I got to tell you something privately. What is it? I need you to keep a secret from grandma. Okay. I'm serious. Grandma can't find out about this. Okay, look, it's Chamberlain. And I showed her the unfinished tattoo and she went, oh, do you even like the Dark Crystal that much? I mean, <laughs> yeah, the plot's kind of mid, but it's a cool world. Why were you more upset about my fake Baby Yoda tattoo than my real Dark Crystal tattoo? She didn't care and neither did my dad. Oh, well, ever. I mean, I don't even expect what it changes. And you know what? I actually showed my grandma too and she liked it. I can't make these people mad, no matter what I do. Nah, I mean, not even the kids who are being complaining about, dude, I like to get some tattoos or anything. I mean, their parents would say, no, no, you, you're not allowed to get some tattoos until you're the age of 21. So you have to just get original tattoo that peels off your skin. Nice and done. Yeah, I know what happens, but the changing of this appears to be everybody's opinion. They felt like, I don't care about anything. I mean, tattoos is not my thing for me. But basically when I noticing the little kid, I mean, it happens most of the time. I mean, gotta approve that. And make it clear on that, dear folks. Because that's the way that you really like to treat with people who like tattoos. And if they don't, well, too bad. You'll just have to wipe it off your skin. One of my cousins is a tattoo artist and I was talking to him about tattoos. And my mom said... Oh, you should get your cousin to finish it. And even he said, do not do that. Speaking of tattoo advice, if you're thinking about getting a tattoo, I think you should wait. I, I think no. I, I say no because if something that bad accumulates me, I mean, 
I definitely know that they're going to hate me the way I look because I look clean. Oh, don't worry about it. It will be fine. Unless if you just don't wear tattoos or anything. If you don't like tattoos, I mean, they're going to say it's like, dude, did you get the tattoo? And you could say it's like, yes. But I basically would say it's like, you know, just don't let it change anything. You'll be fine. And I know they're going to like it just in case. Well, if some people really don't care about it. I mean, what am I going to do? Hey, don't worry about it, man. I know parents don't get it. But hey, look on the bright side if you can. I promise it will. Obviously, it's your body, your choice. But with the minimum age of tattoos being 18 and in some states 16 with parents' permission, I just can't imagine being happy with any tattoos 16-year-old James could think of. All I'm saying is that I'm glad I waited and gave myself time to really know if this is what I wanted. And it was. I know you're young and you want to look as hardcore as possible, but you can still get a tattoo when you're like 23 and it'll look good. Trust me. No matter what tattoo you get, it's a way to express outwardly to the world what you like, what you want to remember, and who you are. Well, basically now you know. It's just a thing of what happens with the thoughts on tattoos. Got a big deal out of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to get a full back piece of my grandma's face. There's literally no way my family wouldn't love that. Thank well, I guess you may never know about that either. Thank you all for watching this YouTube video. And now that you're all done, I'm excited to announce that I have a Funko Pop of me. If that's something you're interested in, then you can head on over to my website and you can get a signed Funko while supplies last. As always, thank you to my amazing team. And the next time I'll see you, I might have more tattoos. Who knows? I mean, who knows about the deal? I mean, what could they say? I mean, they have no possibility chance. Well, anyway, it looks like we watched it together. I mean, I guess that this video is a solid 10 out of 10 stars. And I agree with you, dear Tyler Beast, because this is absolutely amazing to give the full detail information. And basically, some kids would say, it's like, I wanted to be this guy with tattoos on. And until then, my parents, they would say, it's like, Please, no, please, no. We want you to look perfect. But some guys won't even care. So be warned, you all. Don't let this happen again. All right? I felt like I was looking at all over tattoos, but I felt like I wanted to wear it. But sadly, though, it's going to stay on the skin forever. So I felt like, no, I don't want to put it on. <laughs> Good choice, man. Good choice. All right. So I guess that is it for my thoughts on tattoos. Maybe... I wanted to head over to the other side. Maybe I'll do some Rebecca Pardon for Let Me Explain Studios. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. I'm always wanting to do that. <laughs> well, I guess you got to say about this anyway. You got a good plan out there, buddy. I know. Thank you, Tyler Peace, for having me here for a special guest for the reaction video. And with that, people, you have, you have anything special to want to say? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, people, be care of who you are. Always remember, tattoos or without tattoos, it's your choice, your split decision. Thank you so much, Tyler, for having me here. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part of a reaction video of me and Tyler Beast reacting it together. I know I definitely done some of voice actors in between, but it wasn't very the easier way to go in between a back and forth. But as you may have already noticed it, if you're wearing some tattoos, please be very kind to each other of covering things up when you're going to work on a casual event. Or if there's an out work job, like you, you're a construction guy or you're a tattooing artist guy or any kind of it, I mean, it's up to you now, but if you're here at work and right from the stores, I mean, they're going to be probably saying, like, it's a very bad idea. When you're getting a job right in between of inside a building or outside a building, I mean, it's kind of hard when you're doing it in between. So I felt like, no, I don't want to put tattoos on it. So it's a bad choice for me. I decided to keep the way I am because I'm perfect. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my reaction video. If you like this one, be sure to smash a thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and also follow me on my social medias. Well, still don't know about Instagram, so I felt like stay offline because it's not going to change the way I really want it to do. 
But as I mentioned before, this is a really big of a blackout change as I really wanted to do something else differently. Well, instead of doing the CS-188, I'm doing another reaction video. The next one I'm about to do is Let Me Explain Studios. And that's right, because I basically have subscribed to her channel, and Rebecca Pardon is the one of the YouTube creator that I saw back from VidCon of Baltimore in 2023. And yes, I definitely will do that one here next. So I basically might want to watch something important. Well, you may never know. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again next time for the next reaction video of the odd ones out peace out for a while as the hate of tattoo and it's the worst day of my life dial <laughs> i'm making this up anyway all right so anyways till next time see you later people until then peace out son of beast out Somebody will.